Hi everybody, on behalf of Adorama TV, my name is Doug Gordon and welcome to Understanding Camera Height. We're here to start talking about understanding camera height and what a difference it really makes in your images. It's one of the biggest misconceptions. I see all the time when looking at photographers' work that one of the biggest problems is that they're very stagnant with their camera height. They generally keep it at the same level, which is ultimately going to wind up hurting them. When I look at a subject, whether they're in a seated position or whether they're not and they're in a full-length position, camera height makes all the world of difference. And what's going to happen is you need to understand that one of the biggest problems is that our clients, they tend to be plus size. Most of the clients that we photograph aren't coming to us because they want to look bigger. They want to look better. So people automatically assume that always going with a higher camera height is going to work. And most times it will. But I want to kind of teach you the differential of it. One of the things that happens is when we're setting up the camera height, we want to try to make the body look best. So right now she's in a seated position. Depending on the type of portrait that I'm going to take of her, I generally want to try to create a camera height that's going to work with it. So what do I mean by that? Well, right now she's in a seated position. So what I want to do is, can I ask you to cross your front right leg over your left? Uh, cross it over that way. Bring this leg up over. Okay. You're going to turn your body sideways this way. And I want you to lean forward at the waist. Put your left hand here. Bring this hand back a little bit and turn your head to the right just a little bit more. And now lean forward to me. Okay. So now I know that I'm basically going to crop in what we call a three-quarter position. So I basically have three choices of camera height. I can shoot down from low at the bottom of the image. I could shoot at bust level or I can shoot right above high level. Now considering that she's obviously not a plus size subject, the best height for me based on the position of the angle that, of the image I'm taking for this three quarter image from the waist up or half body is going to be right at bust level. Let me show it to you in the incorrect setup first and see the difference that it makes. So first I'm going to start with a low camera angle. Okay, so turn your head to your right a little bit, tilt your head to your left, and your eyes right out here. Looking straight up, chin up just a tad, beautiful. Leaning forward at the waist, you're doing great. So now I'm down below her. Let's take a look, I'm locking in. Perfect, there's our first image. Now for the second one, I'm gonna come up right to about bust level. Stay there, you're smiling, you're doing great. And now for the third one, I'm gonna come down on her, chin up a little bit, eyes higher, above eye level, perfect. So. When you look at all three, when we compare them, you could see they're three completely different effects. Shooting up clearly is not working on her. When I'm shooting a bust level, I'm basically cutting the body. It's perfect, everything's even. And when I shoot down, I'm bringing the face closer. But what's happening is by bringing the face closer, I'm making it appear thinner, but the rest of the body's starting to get a little bit smaller in terms of what's happening. When I'm shooting up, it's kind of shaped like a bowling pin. I'm bringing the body up. Now, I love taking extreme coming down on them. I love having camera height that's extremely above the subject because it allows me so much, so much to work with, especially with a plus size subject. It's going to make all the difference in the world. Now, one of the things that we have to remember is when we're leaning the subject forward, we're leaning forward this way. We want to try to keep the camera on the same plane. So if, she's, if I'm really shooting up on her, I'm really going to have her leaning forward at the waist. But camera height is essentially going to determine, as you can see by the last three images, the base and the size of the body. And this is key to creating any type of portrait. It's a little thing, but it goes a long way in making the portrait perfect. So again, we're going to stand her up this time. We're going to change it up just a bit. Come back here, we're turning her sideways, just thumbs in your pockets, turn your body this way towards me, 45 degrees, point that front foot forward, just like that. Now push it back and lean your hip back, leaning forward, turn your head to your right. Looking right here, tilt your head, chin down a little bit and leaning forward, beautiful. So again, now I'm gonna go into a full length image. Let's look at the difference in camera height here. So I'm gonna keep her eyes on me, now I'm gonna start from the ground. Okay, so I'm shooting a full length image, eyes up above my head, stay there. Just like that, I'm down real low. Now I'm gonna come up to the midpoint of her body, which is about waist level, just like that. And then I'm gonna come up and shoot down on her. Perfect looking there. 
The big thing to determine is, do you see the difference in body shape for all three? When you're looking them at the screen, take a look and see it. When we're down low, body gets a little bit bigger at the bottom. When we're in the middle for this full length, body looks completely even and natural. When we come up, we're bringing the face closer. So what I'm saying to you is basically the best time to bring the camera height above eye level would always be for a plus size subject or when I'm working bust up. So let's take a look here when we're working bust up. So now I'm gonna shoot down, turn your head to your right. Eyes here, not so much back, a little bit, looking straight out, eyes higher. Looking out, you're smiling, beautiful, happy. Now you see I'm shooting up the nose. Then I'm here, just like that, stay there. And now when I'm above eye level, let's take a look. Eyes straight out. You see the difference? First one, I'm shooting up her nose and I'm clearly making her bust look bigger. For the second one, I'm kind of splitting her in half a little bit, but I'm not really doing anything to help her. But when I come up above eye level, look at what happens. It's just different angles. Now you may say, oh, they look like three completely different images. And you're right, they do. But that doesn't mean that it's the most flattering. Now I want you to look at what happens when I start to bring a face up and I track the light. Now in this case, I'm lucky because I have the natural light coming in here, but I also have light here. Now one of the keys to what I'm working with is where I bring light from. When I'm shooting above, I always wanna to try to use my reflector to really help me get some light up to her. So that's important to me. So I'm bringing the reflector underneath here, just like that, and I'm gonna go up on the stairs in a second there. So now let's take a look without it, with it, without it. Now I'm gonna come up over here. So let's see what we get. I'm gonna bring her body in here, same position. And just by changing that angle, looking up at me, beautiful. Chin up a little bit, tilt your head a tad to the left. You're doing great. Stay right there, smiling, chin up a little bit. You're doing terrific. Beautiful angle shooting down. And by doing this, I'm able to completely stretch her out. Great angle for a plus size subject, but more importantly, it's made good by having the light underneath. I need to get light underneath to open this all up because if it goes into shadow, it's not gonna work. So what are the basic rules? Full length image, I wanna keep the camera height at roughly waist level. For the waist up, I wanna keep the camera height for most subjects at bust level. For a head and shoulder shot, from bust up, I'm going to basically work with the camera height slightly above eye level. If you do that, you're gonna be in great shape. It's simple, it's easy, and it's rules that are gonna stick with you forever. That's how you create great portraits and understanding how to thin people out, by working with camera height. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV right here on YouTube. My name's Doug Gordon, and we'll see you next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.